gonna do is say Oh shy, shy, The nights we stayed up It felt okay Turning to love a million times Hey guys, welcome back so today, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be recreating Patrick Starr's makeup look that he did recently on his America's Next Top Model makeup tutorial. I'll link it in the info box if you guys want to check it out. If you guys don't know Patrick Starr, like, I think you have been living under a rock. Don't take that in a bad way. But he, he's so good, like, he's so good at makeup. If you want to know more about makeup, he knows what he's talking about and he, he's just, he, he, he just does look so flawlessly and oh my god I followed his tips and I'm I'm actually so shook so yeah definitely check him out if you don't know Patrick Starr but he is amazing I live for his makeup looks I live for his personality his vibe yeah I always go to his videos I feel like I learn a lot of like specific techniques from him and the fact that he's got his collection of MAC is amazing I'm still waiting for it to come to the UK because apparently it's coming this month I'm hoping I'm hoping so I definitely need to like make a trip to MAC once it gets out because I need that powder I need to try that setting powder but yeah this is the look I created I hope you guys will enjoy this makeup tutorial and yeah we'll jump straight into it okay so the first thing that I'm going to do I'm going to use some of my Wonder Kiss um, lip gloss I'm now going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Anti-Fatigue um, Primer. This is just going to prep my skin for my foundation. But whilst this is sinking in, I'm going to... Um, do my eyebrows. For my eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. Patrick Star has this amazing like arc and he did mention that he d didn't really want that but like I live for that like I love a nice arc so I really like drawing one so I put a bit more product over the the um, brow but if you want more of a straight one like he said you can fill in underneath it to make it a bit more straighter so next up, I'm going to be using some of the EX1 Delete Concealer. I'm going to take some with a flat brush. And really... Carve that brow. I always do the top as well. I didn't see Patrick Starr do it, but... I always do the top. Okay, we're gonna go onto the skin. I'm just basically following his America's Next, America's Next Top Model video. So the next thing I'm gonna do is use some foundation, and the foundation I'm using is the NARS Radiant Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in Tahoe, and I'm using a NYX 03 brush. I'm just gonna blend that all over. want that full coverage oh by the way this foundation is a little bit dark for me but that's okay a lot of you mentioned that um cyber Cruise is too light for you like you're my skin color and you use tahoe but it's too dark so then you went and got cyber Cruise and that was too light so it's just like i'm stuck in between they have 33 shades and they, i don't have a color like i've never had that before with so many shade options but it's just such a beautiful foundation I love it see I envy people with larger foreheads because I have such a small forehead it's so funny how we always want stuff that we don't have but like I would love a larger forehead just to make my face a bit longer Look how beautiful that foundation is. Isn't it stunning? Um, I'm going to use some of my Sleek Makeup Brow Gel. So this is what the brow gel looks like. It's in the shade Dark. I'm just going to run this through my brows. Just 
bit more on a reddish side, but it's okay. I'm just going to brush the foundation on my neck area a bit. I'm definitely needing some lighter version of this. I definitely need to get maybe lightening drops. I'm going to try it with that. But anyways, it's just flawless. I love it so much. And then for concealer today, I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Retouching Wand. I'm using this because it's super light. And this is in the shade Medium. And he used a nice bright highlighter. So you just twist it up like this. And... I like to draw a lot of light to my forehead, my nose, chin, put some on my eyelids, I think I'm going to put some on my eyelids as well, I don't know, I think he might, he used my paint pot, I forgot, but I actually don't have that, I need to see what he used as his base actually. Then I'm going to use my Real Techniques sponge to blend that all out. I know I look really crazy right now. Ah! Oh. <laughs> so beautiful when you just like draw light to that area like look how beautiful that's blending blend it on the forehead chin I'm just using my foundation brush to diffuse the edges so I am going to take some of my LA Girl powder and we are going to do it the Patrick style way I'm telling you I'm going to do it the Patrick star way first of all I'm just going to blend this all out I'm going to do some baking He really presses it in, like rather than just letting it sit there, he he really like presses it in. Already that's so flawless. So now I'm gonna take some more powder. I'm gonna smack in their face, you know. I'm gonna just use this thing that my mum had. I'm gonna put some powder in there, yes, yes, just dunk it, dunk it into the powder. Oh I'm so excited, okay. You ready guys? There we go. He didn't really use it on his forehead, to be honest. And by the way, this powder doesn't give flashbacks, so I trust it. But I'm going to do a little bit on my forehead because it's looking a bit shiny. More underneath. Okay, I think that's good, guys. So for the eyes, we are going to use my beloved Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. And I am going to first use the shade Desert Sand to kind of like really set my base right in that area. So recently I was on a shoot, guys, and I like sometimes I just felt like pinching myself because... I just, like, it's crazy, like, me, like, me being on these kind of things. I did snap a bit, but you guys are so curious to know what it is. But it's going to be out very soon, and, oh my god, it's just with a brand that I use so much, and it's just crazy, but I can't wait for you guys to see it. Oh my god, and to be honest, it's just, like, all because of you guys, like, it's so crazy. All these opportunities that come, and 
do you know i just all i can say is thank you guys like for just watching my videos it just every time I'm like so emotional i don't want to get emotional oh my god if there's one thing you need to know about me it's like i'm the most emotional person ever like if i talk about something that means so much to me or that can is sad or even like when i sometimes when i compliment people it's i think it's something mental like i have in my head but basically when i compliment people i like i tear up but i don't want to it's just so weird but anyways i'm grabbing the shade um amber Just grab a clean brush and blend the edges. I'm telling you, this technique is so much easier. Um, what was that? What else was I saying? Oh yeah, and um, yeah. If like I, I can talk about literally anything, like something that just means a lot to me or something that really touched my heart, and if I talk about it, I will cry. Like if something's coming truly from my heart, like I will get emotional just the way I am I've always been like that I get all, always so emotional even when I was younger I was so emotional I really 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 want to diffuse it pack it on there blend 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 I'm then going to use some of Oud Oud is like a really like chocolate brown. The reason why I choose Huda Beauty so much is because her eyeshadows are truly like so intense. Doesn't matter if it's not neat so far, we're gonna clean it up after. Right now I'm just literally placing the brown where I want it to be. Then again, grab your clean brush and softly diffuse it into that first colour we used. Can you see the intensity of that eyeshadow? Like, no joke. So now I'm going to be using some of this e.l.f. Um, liquid eyeshadow in brushed copper. Looks like this it's super super intense and we're gonna grab a little flat fluffy brush to really diffuse it You do have to work super quick with these. I don't think I want to bring it higher than that. And I'm also going to take some of Nefreti. I'm just going to... I'm just packing that on the centre to really give it that oomph, you know. Okay, I'm going to do the other eye and I'll be right back. We've just done the other eye. Now I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Liquid Eyeliner in Max Mad Brown makes me think of Mad Max it's just a really nice brown and super precise so I'm gonna use that on my upper lid not upper lid my top lids did you do liner I don't remember if you did liner but I think I'm just gonna keep it like that just a tiny flip Oh my god, guys, can you believe that the Ace family is going to have a baby? <laughs> another one. We need another L. I really, I don't know, I, I kind of wish it, it's a boy because I just feel like, they, I don't know, I've grown up with like three other siblings. So I've got one sister and two brothers, so, and I, want, I know that I want my kids to have siblings. But it's just like, I don't know, like, I feel like it's going to be a boy. I don't know. 
I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll Mascara. I'm going to put some lashes. I forgot to get some lashes. I can't do a Patrick Star look without getting some lashes on. I honestly love his videos. I feel like I learned so much from him. He's just got such a bubbly, cool personality. And I'm just like, can you just give me some? Just give me some of your vibe, you know? And he's doing so well. He's literally killing it at the moment. He was on America's Next Top Model. I think he was at the Grammys. And, you know, he's just killing it. Because, you, you know, it's not... You don't really see someone like him very often. It's just nice to see someone like him killing it and, you know, inspiring others. Especially younger ones. What we're going to do first is brush off this bit. And then for the rest of his face, he used some powder. So I'm going to be using the Max, Max Studio Fix Powder in NC45. This is my mum's one. And I'm just He basically just brushed off the excess powder with this. That is like, that's literally made my skin look flawless. It's definitely more matte than I usually have it. Like, he really likes his, his makeup matte, or else I like it kind of like a natural matte finish, but a bit of glow. I do like my glow. But that is looking flawless, I'm not gonna lie. I do feel like I could use with some highlight. And what he did, he, he used some like powder, like face powder. So I don't have any lighter powder foundation, so what I'm doing is I'm taking some of the Desert Sand colour from the eyeshadow palette and I'm just taking a bit with the sponge and literally just, just putting it under there just to get like that lighter look because it looks so flawless when he took that powder foundation and like highlighted under his eyes Okay, let me not go overboard, but look. Doesn't that look so good? Okay, so now I'm going to take some of my oldie but goodie MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep. I haven't used this in so long. I miss it. Let me see if I can still work with it. I do, even though like I bring light to my forehead, I still like to like bronze the perimeter. I just like the look of it. It like makes my, my forehead look a bit more structured. I feel like I need a bit more. I'm trying to get that pinched. Kind of. nose look I'm living for this beat beat look okay so now I'm gonna grab some of my eyeliner um, this is the um, metallic eyeliner by NYX it's just kind of like a standard pencil and I'm just gonna line my lower waterline, upper waterline. I like stopped on the skin and went straight to my um, eyes. But before I finish off my eyes, I'm just going to use some of this MAC blush in Desert Rose. Okay, we're gonna take some of the brown, that dark brown that we used. I really like to smoke out my lower lash line. And I'm using Oud again. 
I'm also going to put some mascara on my lower lashes. I can't live without my scar on my lower lashes. I actually have to go up again. But let me just put my lashes. So I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty Lashes. Scarlet. They're super dramatic, so I thought let me use these ones. Patrick likes to double stack his lashes. I don't think I'm going to do that today. I'm just going to use these thick ones. My nose is so itchy. What the hell? Oh my god. Chichi. Chichi. It's going to go louder. He's an outdoor cat, so literally when he goes out, it's always like this when he comes back in. He's so vocal. Even when he pees, he meows. Have you ever seen a cat that does that? Because I haven't. Oh my lord. Oh, this is so beautiful. That isn't a gorgeous lash. I don't know what it is. Look at that. That's scarlet. The only thing I have to say is that these ones definitely go more straight rather than go up. But I'm digging it. I'm still loving it. So beautiful. Oh my god. Oh Chichi, I know. I know Chichi. You just ate and you want some more food. Just like me. Takes from its mother. So I can eat and I'm still thinking about what to eat for dinner. Well, I'm eating breakfast and I'm thinking what I can have for lunch. And I'm eating my food but I'm thinking what I'm going to have for dessert. You know? <laughs> I can't find my MAC cork so what I'm going to be using is the MAC, uh, Primark PS Insta Girl Kiss Proof Lip Liner Pencil in Icog Incognito. I'm then going to be using this um, Stay Matte by Rimmel. I'm really sorry if I haven't been focusing this whole time, but this is in the shade Mocha. It's like literally one of my favourite liquid lipsticks, but we are going to put a gloss on top. It looks like I just got my lips done. <laughs> and then I'm going to grab some of this Lip Top Coat Lip Art Gloss in gold by Rimmel okay I would say I'm happy with that let me let go of my weave I'm joking it's my real hair guys my baby hair is ain't that great compared to Patrick's obviously okay what do you guys think think i am loving guys i feel like i'm letting off patrick star vibes i'm gonna lift these lashes a teensy bit do you want to be on top i love america's next top model i just can't believe he was on it oh my god patrick what did you make me do i'm running out of battery as always i hope you guys really enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching um yeah i don't know let patrick star know if you guys can go comment comment on his latest video if oh my god that would mean the world Let, let's try and get him to watch this video that would mean the world just the fact that he would just like just stumble across my video that would mean the world so if we can do that that would be amazing if you guys want me to recreate like other influencers looks then let me know because i had so much fun doing it obviously patrick star has his way of doing his makeup especially when he bakes his face but to be honest I kind of get why, why he does that because it looks so flawless. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!